so I'm Stacy Earle, and I am head of marketing, CRM, and user retention at CashKick. My CRM pr- experience primarily started about three years ago when I started marketing for an app. It's really all the writing that you have to do is really challenging, right? You're you're trying to write a single message that's going to fit your, even though you're doing personalization, you're still at the end of the day writing the same basic message. And so that's a big limitation in that you're trying to figure out, okay, what are the right words, you know, at the right time to say. Now to A-B test, I, okay, great, I can A-B test this message, you know, but Really, now I want to iterate and I want to test that message and I want to test that message. Well, every time I do that, I have to pause a campaign and start a new campaign, which completely disrupts all my analytics, right? So I can't really tell what's working because now I just stopped it and now I'm going to restart it. So I hate that aspect of, you know, it's a huge limitations on CRMs. Earlier this year, I implemented CleverTap as our primary CRM. And, um, and then we are right in the middle of, of a proof of concept with AMP that is just going glowingly well. We're super excited about it. Um, so I think I heard about AMP from Peggy Ann Sauls. Uh, absolutely fascinating concept for us because, you know, as I was saying a minute ago about how hard it is to write that one perfect message or the two or three perfect messages. Um, AMP has changed completely how we write our content. I no longer have to write the one perfect message. Instead, I get to play and write lots of different components of messages. You know, I get to write, you know, 20 different call to actions and I get to write, you know, 30 different, you know, opening uh, segments, right? You know, hey, Susie, or have you heard about this? Or And I, I no longer have to have the perfect one because I, I get to put all those different components in any way I can think about it. And then AMP gets to mix and match them for me, you know, and really deliver the right message to the right user. You know, one thing about CRMs and engagement platforms like CleverTap is um, there's the initial integration work, right? Which, But then integration never implementation integration never really stops, right? So you're always like, oh, I need one more event or uh, or we need to tweak this event over here. And so that requires development time. And so when we initially were talking about this AMP proof of concept, I was like, oh, I'm going to have to like schedule time to get in on one of the sprints. And how am I going to find an you know, how am I going to get developer time to get this implementation done? And uh, you know, like that, that was actually, a, we were like, okay, what's the cost of the development team to come in and do this part? That was part of what we thought about. And I was ax- completely British word gobsmacked, <laughs> right? At like how easy it was to come in and do the implementation of to layer AMP on top of CleverTap. Um, was like no work at all. And uh, it was, you know, in the end, my developer was still busy, still busy. We're like, we've got to get this done. And and you guys said, well, you know, we can come in and we can just do this. And I was like, really? You don't, you don't like need to do something in the back end, you know? And, and uh, so I think you had it done in like a couple of hours after we said, yes, go ahead. And then when I read through the instructions, I was like, oh, wow, I actually could have done that. There was nothing beyond my capabilities. You know, and so, uh, yeah, completely shocked at how easy that was to do. Uh, you guys have really held our hands every step of the way. It's really the best onboarding experience I've, I've ever had. So love working with, with Annika and, um, and, and the rest of the team as well, right? But she's, um, I like that she's taken us step by step through the process. Right. So, okay, here's the first step. And here's how I, you know, let me give you this spreadsheet and show you how to think about writing these messages and then go away for a week and just write anything you can think of, you know, and then next step. Okay. So let's work on getting these messages into AMP now. And, and so that was easy for my team to do as well. Um, uh, and then, you know, all right, now we're ready to start turning a few messages on. And we have some messages turned on. And then the next week it was like, OK, so let's look at analytics and let's see how they're performing. And let me help you read and understand what you're seeing. And so it's just it's been a lovely 
experience to go through that. So, and, um, uh, and I have some pretty strong opinions about, <laughs> about onboarding from different products, right? So yeah, really, really great. Some of the messages that are performing that are really clicking, then we took those back to other campaigns. We're like, oh, interesting. So people like the way we phrase that. They really like that, you know, th this messaging versus that messaging. And so we take those learnings back to, you know, the parts, the emails or other learnings, um, even in the product, right? Because now I can think about, you know, the wording in our product at times, you know, are the app versus the web and, and yeah, I would say that, that that's had a, an impact already on us. There's a lot of freedom in our, in our marketing that we're doing now um, because I don't feel that limitation of like, I have to have the perfect message to the perfect and I have to have it scheduled at the right time. And what if this is the wrong time or am I sending out too many or, you know, there's all this stuff that goes in on in your head as a marketer working with a CRM. Um, and a lot of that weight is just lifted off of me. Like I let, I feel really comfortable because I've even gotten messages on my phone from AMP <laughs> Too in the last week, right? But, um, but, but I feel like you know, just from my own experience, I can see AMP's not pushing out too many. You know, I can see that it's um, th there's a balance there. There's an ebb and a flow, and yeah, like a giant weight lifted off my shoulders. I don't have to make that decision. I can let machine learning and AI help make that call. I can see that we're going to have a deeper understanding of our product, not just our marketing, not just our users, but our product as a whole from looking at um, those tags and how people really um, engage with our product. We're really looking forward to expanding, you know, beyond like we started with push notifications and I see all the all the fantastic, you know, um, opportunities with emails. You know, and someday I go, ooh, someday in-app messages, that would be really cool, right? You know, to to have AMP help us push out different in-app messages um, in the same way. <laughs>